Welcome back guys. So today when it comes to Mac OS 26, I'm happy to let you know that we now have beta 3 that's available today, but this update might actually not be showing up for you and I will explain why in a sec. So if we go into our system settings right here and go to where it says software update, I finally got it to show up and you can see for me on my M1 Pro MacBook, it comes in at exactly 3 point nine six gigs i was updating from the previous beta 2 this is not all that apple released you can see alongside this we got watch os 26 beta 3 vision os 26 beta 3 mac os 26 beta 3 of course this is the video for that and ipad os alongside ios 26 beta 3 most of these i do cover on the channel so if you want to keep up to date and know what's new definitely do hit like and subscribe now let me show you why you might actually not be able to see this update so when apple released mac os 26 beta 3 this is the developer beta 3 it seems like they forgot to enable it for apple silicon uh, devices so m1 and newer that are running this developer beta that have rosetta installed so if you have an apple silicon mac be it m1 to m4 and you run some sort of intel based application then in the background rosetta is actually going to be running so to quickly show you and find out if you actually have any intel apps that are running there's a system command that you can run to be able to show you that list so if i was to go to my other screen right here and show you how you can find that by running terminal and then run pasting this um, uh, command right there and it will list for you all the applications and softwares that are actually running Intel and are using Rosetta so if you see applications like this then most chances are you are actually going to find that rosetta is going to be running and present and there's also another command that you can actually run to find if rosetta is running so that command i'll also leave it in the description of this video i'll just paste it here and then if i run it you can see rosetta is not running so if you run the same command and you find that rosetta is running and you go to your system settings and try to check for a software update because rosetta is running on your apple silicon mac you actually won't be able to see this update so now you what you need to do is to disable rosetta in the background and part of the process of disabling Rosetta actually involves uh, putting your device into recovery mode and then going into the utilities and disabling the system integrity protection which is for most people like a big no-no so if you're not confident or uh, and you don't have maybe a test device where you want to do this maybe this is an update you might want to skip but if you feel confident and you want to disable the sip or system integrity protection on your mac and then uninstall rosetta and then re-enable the sip then there's a pretty simple process that you can follow i'll leave links to the article that will give you like a step-by-step -step, um, process on how to do that and once you do that just make sure you re-enable your sip or system integrity protection and then you'll be able to go into your system preferences and check for a software update and you'll be able to basically update your mac to this new version that has just been released now for me i found the update and i disabled uh, rosetta and i re-enabled sip so i'm quickly going to download this new software update and then we're going to look at some of the minor changes that it has to offer just like that my device has now been updated you can probably tell right now and one of the first things that you actually see is what you are seeing right now so by default without having to go into the settings and change anything the wallpaper and screensaver that your mac is going to show and the welcome screen is going to be changed automatically so you can see this new wallpaper and screensaver that we have this one is the tahoe themed and you can see the rocks as they float right away there but just to show you some of the software changes that are here within this update you can see if we go all the way um down actually it's a bit flaky or a bit uh, buggy right there it wasn't scrolling if mac os is taking 24.82 gigs apple intelligence 
0.9 it's fluctuating slightly since files are settling in the background and you can see when it comes to the exact build number that we have with this beta it ends with a G and it's 25A5306G. The previous beta 2 actually ended with an E. So in a sense, we took two steps in the negative direction. Maybe Apple knew that there was this Rosetta thing going on with Apple Silicon devices, but that's basically the software changes. Now let's talk about some of the new features and changes that you are going to see now. Automatically, one of the first things that I notice, you can see when you open up apps, it's been doing this for a number of time and you can see it's just indexing and i have this window that's loading infinitely i'll come back to it later on but one of the changes that you can see is that the transparency of the apps window carries over so as i drag it you can actually see how um, the liquid glass theme carries over into this window and you can you know see a little bit of the rocks behind if i go there you can see it there and at the same time they've added these categories that you can actually be able to see so productivity if i click on it it basically searches for productivity and you can see all these other sections that are there i'll give it some time and then I'll come back to it after a few seconds. One of the things that I gotta say I don't like about this new apps application is the fact that it always defaults to the main device which is the screen of the MacBook Pro but with the launch pad previously it always to just default to the external display which is the one that I'm capturing and you are seeing right now so I hope they improve it in a way. Another thing too that has been changed has to do with Spotlight Search. So the first time you initiate Spotlight Search, unlike the previous one where it would actually show a few selected windows where you can actually sh see that you can use clipping and the different commands that you can do. So command one for application, two for actions, three for files, four for clipboard. You can see that this window is much bigger. So, and it also actually carries the transparency more better compared to the previous version and you can see here they tell you more details about things that you can do such as run actions and shortcuts and filter and find recent searches and basically they tell you to find basically just put a slash and then find and you have a search history if i click continue for example if i search for um, music just like this it's indexing for some time so i'll give it more time again after spotlight search has finished indexing another pretty cool thing that i notice is how the animation now just pops up so if i uh, initiate command spacebar for spotlight search it just pops up right there you can see how that animation comes if i initiate it it shows the spotlight bar and then if i let go of whatever buttons i'm holding it basically just pops up and shows like this which is pretty cool so now i want to show you something that has changed when it comes to music since the apps app still is indexing for some time and it has this uh basically same animation as um what you do when you initiate the clipboard and finder it's indexing for unlimited number of times so i went through find an application if you open up the music application for the first time you are going to see a new pop-up screen that's going to tell you about audio mix like a dj audio mix knows when to seamlessly transition one song into the next find it in your player next to auto play so i can click ok right now and one of the things that i actually wanted to show you is if you go to the home you're going to see apple music 10 year top songs this is because apple music just turned top uh, 10 years and at the same time they've added a new playlist that you can see here this is an old time uh, top playlist for your songs that you see so you can basically go in and be able to see that and they've also improved the fluid and liquid display feature of the apple music itself so now there's more transparency between this window as you scroll up and down and at the same time when you drag the window back and forth it's not like it's dragging or leaving uh, like some jitter delays behind so it just looks seamless and much better one of the things that i checked after updating it is a version of safari but in doing that i actually saw one change so this is the exact version of safari that i have version 26 and with this exact build 
build number that you see but you can see unlike the previous uh, version or beta safari now doesn't have the little black bars that you would see underneath each tab as you went through which is something that's good so i feel like now it's more prominent to tell which window you are in because the rest are sort of grayed out and the one that you are in is going to be given a more brighter white color background if you open up your apple news application for the first time you know a number of users have reported seeing a news plus screen and at the same time if you're an apple news plus subscriber under the food section they've improved the recipes that now basically allow you to add ingredients to a grocery list so that you keep everything within the same uh, area and that's something that you can see if you have the news plus subscription which i don't actually have while the transparency and liquid glass theme is being improved in a way some of the animations have actually been reduced you can see here they've toned down the way the animation comes in from the control center when you are changing brightness or when you are changing the volume it's not as prominent as before before it had this you know fluid motion which i really like but now you can see that that animation and that uh, swap between the volume and the controls has, has basically been toned down a little bit Another change that has been implemented as you might have seen from the start of the video is if you go into your wallpaper settings you can see basically they've added Taho Day which is the one that's selected by default once you update and it doesn't end there because at the same time you can actually select the screen saver on this section and under the screen saver you can have a quick preview to see how that looks and I think it looks good you can see how the light reflects on the rocks and how basically the camera slowly moves as it captures this cinematic landscape it's amazing and at the same time if you actually go down and you are looking at your basically wallpapers or screen savers if you go to show all just under the sonoma wallpaper you can see they've added these ones gal beaches gal cast through uh through himalayas i believe and uh hopefully i pronounced it correct and there's more that you can see right there and if you haven't downloaded them you can actually begin to download in total you can see there's about like 10 to 12 which have been added and it's good to see that these are some which were promised to be coming for the apple tv and now that mac os has it once tv os um 26 beta 3 comes out it should have it but today there is no tvos update so stay tuned for that and i will update you once that happens this is a quick preview of himalay day Also something uh, pretty unique is the fact that when you go to change your screensaver or your wallpaper it seems to now re retain the wallpaper selection which you have which was a bug in the previous update since it will revert to the previous Mac OS versions wallpaper and sometimes even the screensaver. Finally my apps application has finished indexing so I noticed that there's a bug sometimes when you open apps it mistakes it for like uh, spotlight search it happened quite a bit and i was like okay i need to capture this but now it won't repeat it so it seemed like it just uh, uh, like repeated that bug three times and now i won't be able to capture it but yeah keep an eye out for that at the same time you can see when you go to the journal application and open it it has a new splash screen that you can see right here which welcomes you to journal and you can write about your day and photos i think pretty much what I tell you here was existing from the previous beta and you can see we have a little bit of UI changes when it comes to the user interface elements and selections that you have so just a minor refresh for this application. One of the things that I like about this update which it improves is that it seems to implement the liquid glass theme much better for example with the previous updates when I was selecting different wallpapers or different screen savers or landscapes this section of the display right here would basically blink black and white multiple times and it would actually not be blurred like what you are seeing right there so visibility it would actually uh like 
what you call collide with the forefront icons that you see right there but now you can see it's blurred in a way and you can tell that it's something that's in the background which is good and it carries over through the same OS and at the same time you know the liquid theme and the basically the transparency of this theme seems much better even when you are selecting different desktop windows which is something that's good that's about it for me when it comes to this update i do hope you know you are able to update but if it's not something that you need right away i feel like it's worth waiting because some of the changes minor but if you do need to you know go through your system settings and disable the sip and then be able to turn off rosetta or uninstall it then it's a process that uh, you can do and i'll leave links to the commands that i used in the description of this video and an article that will give you step-by-step -step instruction on how you can basically do the rosetta uninstallation or turn it off so that's it for me for now if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next update peace